Hello and welcome into End on a Make. My name is Dustin, and you know there's a lot going on in the NBA, but there's really only one thing to talk about tonight, and that is Steph Curry. The run that this man is on for the month of April has been historic. So tonight, he goes out, drops 49 points against the Philadelphia 76ers, including 20 points in the last six minutes of the fourth quarter to give the Warriors the win over one of the top Eastern Conference teams. And this has just been just an unbelievably historic run that he has been on these this since the month of April started, really. So for the month of April, he is averaging 39 point minutes. So we'll just say 40 points, six and a half rebounds, four assists. For the season, he just overtook the points per game lead over Bradley Beal. He's at 31.4 points per game now. Today put him over the top. And most impressive of all is out of the last five games, four of those games, he has hit 10 threes. Now, there's only one, two other times or two other people that have 10 threes in a game more than four times. And that's Clay Thompson, who has done it five times, and Steph himself, who has done it 21 total times for his career. So think about that. Clay Thompson is the next one who has five games with 10 threes total in his career. Steph has hit 10 threes in four of his last five games. The pace he is on is absolutely historic. And the thing that is really propelling all of it is the efficiency with which he's doing it. So on the season, even with the high volume of threes and of his shots in general, he is on pace for 60% from the field. 40% from three and over 90% from the free throw line, which is again a club that I believe him and like two other players have ever done. The 11 straight games with 30 plus points is actually now the longest streak for a player over 33 years old. He passes Kobe, who did it 10 straight games when he was 33. And it's just the, the history and the records just keep mounting up for him. He passed Wilt Chamberlain last week to be the Warriors franchise all-time leading scorer. And since then, he has just basically not slowed down. In those 11 games that he's played, the Warriors are 7-4. and four, And they are sitting ninth in the standings right now. So they're currently going to be a play-in tournament team, which has to have every other team in the, in the mix of that, just absolutely terrified because going into a must-win game and the other team has Steph Curry in the middle of like in a supernova of a hot streak, it, it could just disrupt everything. Now, of course, the Warriors' expectations this year were tempered a bit after Clay went down. Uh, James Wiseman just recently was lost for the season with meniscus surgery. Uh, and it's just been, you know, it's been one of those years where the Warriors didn't go all in. They didn't try to make a big push because Clay was hurt. I don't know, you know, who knows if it would have been different had they known or if they did have Clay, what they would have done. But they didn't want to waste the Steph Curry season. And now after, you know, a, a full regular season where he's basically been one of the biggest difference makers for a team in a single season in NBA history. So when he's on the court, the Warriors are a playoff contending team and they are a top offense in the league from scoring and efficiency. When he is off the court, they are historically bad. Like they're one of the worst offenses in decades. And that just goes to show the impact that he's had. So even though they're in ninth place right now, they're they're fighting for their playoff lives. He is basically just barraging his way into the MVP conversation. And I really like the argument that, you know, you can see what a drastic difference the on-off court splits are for him. I think that does a really good job of making his case for him too, really. The team is on an unbelievable pace and he is on a historic run right now. And when he's off the court, they are just... I don't want to say fully floundering, but they just they cannot get it going. So he is what what moves, what operates that whole that whole machine, and that is not really a secret. But teams can't still stop it. He had I want to say multiple times tonight where like two or three 
the Philadelphia 76ers players were like swarming him when he got across half court, including Joel Embiid. And he still was, you know, creating his space. He was still pulling up. He was still hitting those shots. It it's incredible to watch him right now. Like this is a lot like his MVP run where it was just must see TV for him for any time he was on. You wanted to watch the warm ups. You wanted to watch every single second while he was on the court because you just knew there was like the potential for something incredible to happen. Now, the Warriors have a pretty easy schedule the rest of the way as well. I don't know, you know, how long he's going to keep this 30 points per game streak going. Um, it's kind of seems like it could just go on until the playoffs, really. Uh, they have a really good chance to make the playoffs, and I think given all the injuries that everybody has just been sustaining throughout the season, this MVP race is wide open. I mean, I know Nikola Jokic is the favorite currently, and it's not like he did anything to um, change that tonight. Just a casual 44-point double overtime win over the Memphis Grizzlies. And then you start looking a little deeper, and, you know, Damian Lillard's missed a couple games. James Harden missed extended time and is still out. Joel Embiid just got back from missing time. Uh, LeBron's missed a ton of time. So there's a chance that Steph could work his way in. Like, I, I am sure he will finish in the top five in voting just based on this run and then the insane efficiency for his overall season. But there's a good chance if he keeps up this pace for the month of April that he could absolutely just win the MVP based on the sheer strength of how he is overwhelming these teams basically by himself. They can throw whatever they want at him, and he is just that good that it is not phasing him. And the as long as the efficiency stays the same, this Warriors team with him on the court is basically going to just be a buzzsaw. And there is just, you know, there's such joy to be had watching him play. The way he plays is just, there's, you know, uh, there's a lot of copycats. Now, I was going to say there's nothing like it. But now, you know, you see players that take the deep threes and everything. But, like, the joy with which he plays, and especially when he starts rolling and you got, you know, he's hitting 30-foot, 35-foot threes, and he's doing the little shimmies, and he's dancing. He had one a few, a few games back where he hit the three and then just, like, airplaned his way back down the court. And he said after it was because he saw someone tweeted him that said, hey, can you, when you take the court, can you do, like, an airplane celebration? And he's like, oh, I saw it. I see it all. I, I hear it all. And, like, the joy that he is playing with right now has him at just an unbeatable level in terms of his own efficiency and scoring. I think that it's a shame we don't get to see him with Clay this season because I think if the two of them were going right now, it wouldn't really even matter what other injuries the Warriors had to deal with. Those two together are just good for a playoff run basically on the strength of just the two of them alone. You have two, the two best shooters in the history of the league, basically. So it's a shame that we don't get that, but I'm really glad that this hasn't been a year where the Warriors have been like, oh, well, Steph's kind of sore. We'll, you know, we'll shut him down tonight. We'll, we'll do it because this has become absolutely one of the best, uh, the best, like, just parts of this season. It's been a joy to watch him. He absolutely is coming for that MVP trophy. And if he keeps up on this pace, I don't see any reason why he would not get it. I think the Warriors are probably going to be one of the two play-in teams, if not a little higher, if some of these other teams continue to slide a bit. And it's just it's going to be it's going to be must-see. Having Steph in that play-in tournament is going to just make that the most must-see game of the season, really. Um, and that's that's all I have, man. Steph is he's incredible. Uh, let me know what you think. If you think he could win MVP or if you see the Warriors making a playoff run or playing spoiler in the play-in tournament, let me know in the comments section. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will be back soon.